Move came out here, you talking about Move yelled invective at the cops. Move yelled profanity at the cops. For right. years, y'all been exploitating, putting it out, talking about Move looking for publicity. We ain't called none of y'all here. Your editors and your publishers sent you out here. We saying if you don't want Move to have no publicity, don't write no story. We don't agree with none of that. TV stations and major newspapers, predators, they don't, they've never printed the truth. You know what I mean? Because they are for the system. They are in the system. And they are in the same system that MOVE is opposed to. And uh, for MOVE to you know, express the principle, anybody that would hear that principle can recognize that it is against them. They can recognize that it is a threat. And if a person is feeling feel threatened by something, then they try to remove themselves from the threat or try to get rid of the threat. And it would help them to destroy move along with Rizzo destroying them because then they could keep their jobs and keep on writing those blood gut stories, you know, making a living off of people uh, being slaughtered, raped. Yeah, the system. Are you personally willing to give up your life in your belief of uh, the teachings of John Africa? I'm saying I'm willing to take that commitment all the way. If Rizzo coming here, I'm willing to fight Rizzo off to the death, which is he'll be murdering me, saying I would rather die than have to live under the stranglehold of Rizzo, live under the stagnated insanity of his administration, saying to live under the teachings of John Africa and do what's right is to be free, even if it means dying. If I have to die, to bring Rizzo to his knees and get rid of him, I'll do it. What briefly was the reason for letting the white members and the uh, Puerto Rican member leave? We know Rizzo's a racist, and the only thing we letting him do is put his racism out there, put his credentials out there. We're going to let him put his face all over the world with the headlines, baby killer, racist, murderer. That's what we let him do. That brings do. up another point. I mean, why, why don't, since you let the white people leave, why didn't you let the babies leave too? I'm saying that we have our babies here with us because that's where they belong. When Sue left, Sue didn't leave her baby here, saying our babies belong with the mothers. Just like they was here during the whole confrontation before, they're going to stay here now. Saying if he wants to kill MOVE members, especially black MOVE members, then the only way my baby will be safe is to get rid of Rizzo, not get rid of my baby. You get rid of the mentality that's going to harm the baby, not send your child away, because Rizzo will go all over the city to find MOVE members and kill them. You know what I'm saying? There's nowhere that I can send my child unless I get rid of that sickness, get rid of that maniac. I've been collecting material by taping and interviewing MOVE members. I started with that because I felt that MOVE hasn't been adequately represented in the press. Uh, I wasn't satisfied with the definitive versions as given by Kitty Caparella, Jim Quinn, and uh, Drummer over the years. And I investigated it. I uh, talked with both sides, and I talked with every name that came up regarding it, except for the city, which is more difficult to contact, especially right now. You've tried to contact the city? Yes, it's not easy. Um, it'll take a little time. I'm sure after things cool over, they'll be willing to discuss it. But right now, because things are changing hour by hour, it's impossible to get through to them. And how have you investigated MOVE itself? I've been through uh, every floor, through front and backyards, and uh, checked out every activity that I could, that they would permit me to. Could you tell us about some of the activities and what the house does look like inside? It's bare inside, and uh, the living quarters, which are the upper floors, are neat, but um, worn and unadorned. There's a few, few uh, superfluous things. It's just functional, just like their clothes are functional. Uh, but it's civilized. There's a lot of dogs in there. There's 48 the last count, although now Inside they're the 70. House. 48 dogs that they run every day. And they keep in top physical shape by uh, working out hours every day. Boxing, pulling up, push-ups, calisthenics. There's a lot of pregnant women. What about the pregnant women? Well, they don't use birth control, so uh, the I women mean, who are pregnant box, the women who are pregnant box, however, they, they don't, of course, box to the chest. I do push-ups, <laughs> pull-ups, uh, run when I can, all of it. So everybody partakes in physical activities. I've, I've seen little children, uh, five years old, doing uh, many push-ups. So they're impressive physically. They're in top physical condition. They eat raw foods. They eat raw eggs, yams, sweet, uh, white potato, uh, garlic, onion. So uh, they watch their diet, and um, they eat freely throughout the day. Uh, they have their own culture. 
and it's determined by John Africa, who's a living human being who is incognito, um, and who is a fugitive, I understand. Um, but it's an organization that goes back five years, and it has a complicated legal history, in which there are charges by the police and countercharges by MOVE. Um, hundreds of legal cases involved. The MOVE organization is crazy, so it can kill everybody in the South and justify it by using public opinion. by force if they resist. No question about that. Children or not. When they come in, though, and, and they uh, say they're going to arrest you, they start taking you outside. What are you doing that case? What's necessary, man? Which means what? The strategy of John Africa. Which means what? What's right. Which means what? The strategy of John Africa. Okay. Do you cite the strategy of John Africa or do you actually do something? The strategy of John Africa is a strategy that is right. A strategy that kept every last one of us alive last year during the civil confrontation. But they didn't come in to get you last year. They did so. You say, what do you call a blockade? What do you call a blockade where they cut off our food and water? What do you call a hundred cops marching down the street to our very gate with a little truck to pull down our fence? If that ain't coming in to get us, what do you call it? Do you have that around your house? What do you think they've been doing for seven years, man? Uh, playing chess with us, man? The quote from Rizzo yesterday was, we will drag them out by the scruffs of their necks. He's been dragging us the fuck out for seven years, man. You understand that, man? What the fuck you think he did March 28th and 76? They dragged me the fuck out in front of my door, man and beat me in my goddamn head, and I had aches in my goddamn back for two fucking years. They dragged, they dragged baby her baby on the goddamn curb and stopped it, I'm man. I'm saying, you questioning us, you want us to put it out there, so if we say, yeah, we're gonna fight a cop, you put it all over the place, that move is gonna result in violence. Yeah, you want him to say Rizzo what you said, want him to say. When Rizzo said he was gonna use force, did you question him, to pinpoint him, to say what kind of force he was gonna use? Yes, he said, we will drag them out by the scruffs of their necks. He, he answered that no, question. Wait, 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 did you ask him what it did?